All right, so my last poker riddle did really well. It kind of spiked more than any other videos and I really loved the comments. Some of you were dead on, some of you were dead wrong, some of you were kind of good. There was some good discussion on Reddit. I'm going to give you one more poker riddle and then I'm gonna make a third video answering both of the riddles and really how you should approach them. Okay, here's my second riddle. Let's say you're playing one, two at your local casino. You sit down with $200 and here's the condition. If you can increase your stack by 25% or more without ever seeing a flop, somebody will give you $10,000. So basically you've got, you sit down, you're playing poker. There is a reward for increasing your stack by 25% without ever seeing a flop. You can go over 25%, but you can't go, can't go under. You can take as long as you want, but you just can't leave the table. You physically have to sit there. So if you essentially turn $200 into $250, you meet the criteria. The only thing is you cannot see a flop. You have to, you have to win. All this money has to be um, made pre-flop. What would be your specific strategy or way of approaching this specific dynamic? Um, I have literally, I'm excited because the last one did so well. I have tons of these. I've come up with so many different poker riddles over the years and just ways of looking at different psychological and mathematical and, and different dynamics of the game. Because with a riddle, because we're in this artificial, um, we've created this artif artificial constraint on ourselves, it changes the way you have to approach the game. So some of my answers or some of the answers to these are not so you know obvious. It's not like oh implied. It's not standard. It's not using standard ways of approaching. You got to think outside the box. It's abstract thinking. Um, really appreciate all the comments. I don't want to comment or say anything until my third video. Then I'll go back and comment about all the first two riddles. Um, in my apartment, Christmas tree, green holiday season. Anyways, more riddles coming soon. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, how would you approach this? I'm interested and excited. Once again, schoolcars.com slash sign up. Have a good day. Night.